What's up internet? This is Skinny here at Clarington Nissan and I want to show you today a quick tour of this 2014 Nissan Rogue SV with the family tech package. That's right, you heard it. Has the seven, uh, pardon me, I was going to say seventh row. It's not seven rows. Has seven passenger configuration in this 14 Rogue. One owner, no accidents and only 41,000 K. So this is a really, really good find, super rare car. Uh, so let's start off by showing you some of the cool exterior features. Uh, first and foremost, we have the LED daytime running lights, fog lights down below on the SV model. And then coming over here, we've got the 17 inch alloy wheels, turn signals in the side mirrors, and then you've got the nice satin aluminum roof rails up top. Take a step back. So as I do these videos, I'm always looking to show you any dings, dents, scratches, because it's a used car and they have them. Uh, so far, so good. We're not finding anything really uh, of notice here. Coming around the back, you can see it's got the nice wraparound tail lights. Uh, nice feature that the previous customer added was the rear bumper guard here, that nice chrome rear bumper guard. Now, because it is the family tech, you do get the power opening trunk. So right here on the key fob, trunk code puts up really easy. So you can see here, we have that last row, the third row, not the seventh, the third row up. And this headrest here obviously will come up for passenger rear head restraint safety. But you can see here, you've got some room. Now these front uh, seats, the second row seats are on sliders. So those can slide forward as well to give you some more leg room. But I mean, would you want to drive 400 kilometers in the back back seat? Probably not. The idea with the Rogue, the seven, uh, seven seater Rogue, is that this is for if you've got a couple kids and the couple kids want to bring the neighbors along, well, you don't want to buy a full-size Pathfinder or full-size SUV just to drag the neighbor's kids. So this is a really great alternative. You get the fuel economy of the four-cylinder Rogue. You get seven seats when you need them, but when you don't, it's just a regular Rogue. So a really smart move by uh, Nissan to bring this out. Not a lot of them built, um, really popular. So if you are interested, you're going to want to give us a call because they don't typically last very long. Uh, as we continue our tour again, nothing really to point out on this Rogue. It's in great shape only 41,000 kilometers. Let's go take a look on the inside. I'll give you a peek at the second row and then some of the cool features in the front. Probably should unlock it first. It's always helpful, eh? There we go. All right. So second row here, you can see that these seats are pretty upright. Uh, they are reclining rear seats. Just grab this handle here, push it back down, get a little bit better view there. We have a center armrest built in here too so you can fold that middle row seat down and there's cup holders built in uh, but give you an idea of how nice and clean these seats are here and then you can see that this front seat here is pushed up a little bit it's still got a bit more room and then that seat over there is farther back but then have a look up because we've got that beautiful panoramic sunroof back here it's got a power shade but the rear passengers get some lighting really really nice and then as I step back here you can see that this is called stadium seating so these seats sit much higher than the front seat and that is to give you a better view of the road for those back passengers uh, just avoids motion sickness and car sickness and stuff like that having a look on the front seats again we got that nice panoramic sunroof that front panel there tilts up and or slides back whatever you like seats are in great shape this is a non-smoker vehicle no odors no pet smells no nothing power driver's seat as well all right let's hop in show you a couple of cool things so over here by your knee you've got sport mode because the rogue needs sport mode <laughs> that basically just gives it a little bit more pep you've got your power opening trunk you can turn that off as well if you need to turn it off maybe you have a shorter garage this here is for your advanced uh, driver uh, assist settings so you've got forward collision warning you've got blind spot monitoring things like that that you can turn on or off um, <clears throat> we've got the all-wheel drive lock button and then hill descent control so we've got all the kind of important buttons right here by your knee and then moving up here so give you a look at the dash 41 we should close the truck so that warning goes away 41,277 kilometers nice low kilometers for the vehicle you can see this driver display here nice color display <clears throat> now we can toggle through that by hitting this button here and it'll show you all sorts of different things uh, basically all your outputs for the Rogue are here including changing some cool settings that are available on the vehicle. Um, my favorite is obviously the range, just so that we have, I know how far I can go I'm gonna take a gas. You've got your volume control for your radio, your radio controls. We've also got your cruise controls and your Bluetooth controls on this side. 
Um, you've got the push button start over here. And then another feature that I really like is this one comes with the blind spot warning. So this light here, there's also one on the passenger side there, if you can see it. But those will light up amber when there's someone in your blind spot. Uh, and if you were to go to make a lane change with your signal, it'll beep at you, tell you don't do that. Um, now, as we look over here to the center stack, the family tech comes with a touchscreen navigation, nice big color screen. It is touchscreen as well. Uh, we can go here and check out the Sirius satellite radio. Um, it's got Sirius, it's got FM, AM, CD, Bluetooth audio streaming from your phone. So if you've got Apple CarPlay, or probably not Apple CarPlay, but Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you're listening to digitally, it'll play through the speakers without any wires. Uh, and it does have USB input as well. And then one of the nice features with the family tech, when you put the car in reverse, it features the around view monitor. So here's your rear view. And then this is your top down view of the Rogue as well. And that's done by using four cameras, two on the mirrors, one on the front, one in the back. Uh, really, really easy for parking. I'm actually gonna get out of the way because I'm blocking somebody here. Now here, I'm gonna show you something cool. Actually, let's hear. So if I push the camera button, here's a cheat. It gives me my front camera. Okay, so you're gonna see that that Audi kind of creeps up on us. And where that's good is if you're parking in a parking spot, and let's say there's one of those big cement posts in front of you, or there's a truck with a trailer hitch, by pushing the camera button here, it gives you that front camera. So that way you don't bump into something in front of you too. Only available at low parking speeds, but a really cool neat thing that you can do. Uh, if you push it one more time, the around view goes to the passenger side. So that way you can parallel park a little bit easier too. Just a couple cool little Nissan tricks that I can show you because I had to move out of the way of somebody. Let's go back here, throw it back over to the map. There we go. Uh, so moving down, we've got your air conditioning, heating controls, USB input, auxiliary input, and a 12 volt charging station with a little tray. And then the driver and passenger seat are heated seats as well up front. So that'll keep everybody nice and toasty in the winter time. Uh, and last but not least, I wanna show you the file for the vehicle because, and here are two important things. One, we have a spare key down in there somewhere. Where is it? There's a spare key for you. And then we have our car proof report, which shows a one owner vehicle, no accidents. You can see the VIN number up there. You can pause that if you want to call, get an insurance quote. Um, but, <clears throat> pardon me, one owner, no accident vehicles. And that's super important to see. Uh, always ask to see the Carfax report. Guys, my name is Skinny. I love working at Clarington Nissan. You're gonna love buying here. We have a really cool, unique setup for you. New owner, new management, new attitude, and that means a new buying experience because we have free delivery practically right across Ontario. So if you're interested in this and you're very, say in Trenton or Niagara or wherever you are, you can give us a call and we can give you all the details, including another quick walk around to make sure we haven't missed any damage or give you some, uh, you know, maybe a view of something that you wanted to see. And then we can complete everything online through email and fax and phone and whatever you like. Uh, even if you have a trade-in, we can do that as well. And then you just sit back and we deliver the vehicle to you. It's a really, really cool process, kind of like Amazon. Uh, we've been doing it for about two and a half years at our Coburg location. And now that we are the new owner of Clarington Nissan, we have brought that experience here for you as well. So we hope you give us a shot. Send us, a, uh, <laughs> send us an email or give us a call. And hope you like this Rogue. And it's uh, pretty unique, a seven passenger Rogue. Not many out there. So give us a call and we will put this in your driveway. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.